Hey, do you want to know how to make a custom avatar for your game that can hold tools? I can show you today. Alright guys, first what we're going to want to do is we are going to get out a part, okay? And we're going to go to the explorer here and insert a decal, okay? And check where the front is. And as we see, the front is here, alright? And guys, also, uh, just so you know, this is this is gonna be an R15 character, so just so you know. And what also I'm gonna do, guys, is you know, um, if you guys want to, you can enable this. Uh, I'm not gonna do it for this tutorial. You can enable this to make it more rigid, so like it looks it's like this instead. But I'm not gonna do that. I want it to be nice and smooth. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a foot here. I just wanna show you guys how to make a custom avatar. I'm gonna do a foot here. So we're gonna call this part the right foot. No spaces, first letter of the word uppercase. All right, guys. And now we can duplicate it. Oh, what? Well, duplicate it and then put it where you want. I'm gonna have it like here. All right, and I see that's like too wide. So I'm gonna make shrink it a little bit more. Delete this one and then do it because i didn't like how it looked and guys if there's anything like you think something's too big or something change it like how you want it to be right so i'm gonna duplicate this now and now i'm gonna do this here and then make it go up and then we're gonna i'm gonna call this oh okay i went away from it we're gonna call this the right uh lower uh leg because right? that's the lower part of the leg and i want to duplicate it make another one up here and this one can be a little longer like that and this will be called the right oh whoa this will be called the right upper leg okay the right upper leg and now we can take two both of these and duplicate it on the other side make sure they're gonna line up perfectly i think i think that's good uh yeah just need a little bit more uh, oh now that's too close i'm trying to get it nice and good i think that's good enough and we can rename this to be left instead of right right so change this to left and this one up here to be also left so i'm gonna go to it i'm gonna rename it to left upper leg. and the reason why this is the right and this is the left is because you know, when you're a person, this looks like your right side. So that's why this would be the right side. So now we can just duplicate one of these and we can make it just an incy bit small, not too small, kind of like this, just like a, a small rectangle here. And what we can do with it is we can call this the lower torso, okay? And then we duplicate it again. And then we're going to create the actual torso and make sure there's no space in between it. Yeah, that's good. So now we're going to stretch it out like this and we're going to call this the upper or so then we duplicate it again and we're gonna have a arm the right upper arm over between a little bit like that i think it's good and then basically pretty good so now we can just shrink it up like this and we can call this the right upper arm okay and yeah okay and there's a, we see there's a space in it we do not want spaces there. and now we can duplicate it again and i'm gonna call this oh wait ooh, we gotta put it right like that no lines in between and yep no spaces okay and we're gonna call this the right lower arm just like with the the legs but instead it's the lower and i see like it's not i don't like how this is really so I'm gonna just shrink these both on the one of the axes so we see the size this one goes down so oh, whoa I actually deleted it okay. well this one goes down so I'm gonna change this to one maybe yeah one is good so I'm gonna just change this to be one because I just like it looking like that yeah and then we can just select this and move it forward like that all right yeah so no more connecting oh well move it for that there. and now we can duplicate it again and we can create the hand okay this is gonna be the hand down here so let's just get it nice and perfect so we're gonna call this the right hand so right hand like that and now we got our different parts so we can actually take these and we can duplicate it on the other side oh, oh forgot to duplicate and if you want you guys should know control d is to duplicate easily and now we can just do this and we can just rename these to left instead of right so we're gonna do that left upper arm and then we can do this one it can be left lower arm so let's change it to left lower arm and then this will be the left hand left left hand all right and we are missing something which is the most important one which is the head right so let's put the head so put it like this do it like that and boom. and you just duplicate the torso to get the head over here and then this will be like this because your head is kind of like that it's actually a little bit like this more of but yeah and now we can just lift this up a bit and something like that and we can call, re rename this to head uh it needs to be uppercase i actually forgot to do that head like that and bang just basically all we really really need to do oh i see a space between here i'm gonna just like the spaces can be okay but 
I really don't like them. I'm gonna just, oh, wait, okay, the line is, I'm just gonna do like that. Okay, there, there we go. And there we go. We got basically the main part of it. Now we just need to duplicate the upper torso here. Uh, did I duplicate it? Uh, yeah, I duplicate it. Okay. So we can change, we can just make this bigger and we need it to go down to the lower torso, like down here and like this. This is basically gonna be like the hitbox. Okay. That's my understanding of it. Uh, and we can just rename this, right? to humanoid root part okay and now we can just make this transparent and no can collide actually yeah i think no can um and yeah so now we can just select everything right like this and then we can go to home and then group all right guys now we got our guy here and we have to rename it to starter character okay and now so we have our humanoid root part here and yeah so now all we need to really do is add a humanoid. And also I want you guys to select everything and turn off can collide and make sure nothing is anchored. Okay, that's what I'm doing it. And we can also add body colors if you wanted to. Um, but okay, we'll put body colors in for now, I guess. Uh, and now what you, the, this is kind of like almost the last step. Last step is we need to add a audio. Well, not audio, sorry. We need to add the motor 6Ds, all right? So, I need you guys to go to the toolbox, right? And go to plugin and search for a plugin called Rig Edit, all right? And get this one, Rig Edit Lite. It's gonna help us a lot. So now you can just click on your model, go to plugins and go to the plugin I told you guys to get. And there we go. So now we got a plugin here. And now we need to rig everything up correctly, all right? So what we can do is we can do human eye root part to the lower torso. So you press this and then hold control and then go to the next one. There we go. You click on the next one. So create joint, and then we can do lower torso to the upper torso. So press this and then hold control, boom. So then upper torso to the head, boom. And then we can do upper torso to the right upper arm. And then we can do upper torso to the left upper arm. And then we can do right upper arm to the right lower arm, left upper arm to the left lower arm, left lower arm to the left hand, right lower arm to the right hand. Well. Yeah, there we go. So now we got like a skeleton structure and we need to now do the legs. So let's do that. So let's do lower torso to the right upper leg, lower torso to the left upper leg, left upper leg to the left lower leg. And so now let's do right low upper leg to the right lower leg. And then we can do right lower leg to the right foot and then left lower leg to the left foot. There we go. Oh, I messed up, guys. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, I need to control Y there. I actually messed up. This is not supposed to be here. Left leg. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see, I see what happened. This is delete that. Right, so I'm gonna go to this. Uh, left upper leg. So left upper leg. Where's, oh yeah, left upper leg. So to left lower leg. There we go. There we go. Now it's fixed. And oh, we got like a skeleton structure. As you see, like boom, boom, boom. So that's looks like skeleton. So now I think if we delete the body colors and add it again. No? Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah. So that's weird. I don't know why the, this changed automatically. So we'll just keep it like that. There we go. So now we got all these parts here. And what we need to do. Oh, I know guys why the body colors are changing. Because we need to go to the humanoid and change this to R15, okay? And then we can add the body colors in and it should just work. Yep, there we go. Body colors in and boom. So now all we need to do now, guys, is basically we need to add, we need to select a humanoid root part, hold control, lower torso and upper torso, and we enable can collide on them, okay? And now we can basically test it out. So we just drag our model here into starter player. Okay, now we can press play and let's see if it works. And as we see, we're glitching around, which is fine. The reason why it's not working correctly is because uh, we need to change the hip height. Okay, and for me, guys, usually uh, if you just need to test around with it. Okay, so go to hip height and I'm going to use two just to test it out. And we do not. And this is how we test. So we need we don't want the player floating, but we don't want the player in the ground. Right. And as we see, let's see. Oh, it seems like it's almost there. Um, so we just need to go here and let's just change a little bit of the hip height. Like a, like a little with a decimal. So let's just do one five, 2.15. And also let's get a sword from the toolbox to test out if it can hold a sword, right? So let's go to model and we could get sword. So let's get a sword right here. Roblox sword made by Roblox. We can take it and we can now just put it into server pack. There we go. And let's see, let's see if our character works. And as you see, our character can do animations and the pl the pl and as all the normal animations can use weapons and everything. So guys, that's how you make a uh, custom R15 character in Roblox Studio. Gloomcraft is about inspiration and learning. So I hope you have a great day and I can't wait to see you ne guys next time. Bye.